Day Northwest is back. Now, from the AAA Travel Alcove, here's Margaret Larson. Welcome back, everybody, to New Day. Nathan Mirvold has been electrifying the food world since 2011 when he released his first modernist cuisine book set, The Art and Science of Cooking. The book presented food photography in a dazzling new light and was followed by other books and the launch of a state-of-the-art cooking lab. Galleries featuring Nathan's visionary photographs have opened in Las Vegas and New Orleans, and the third one opens tomorrow right here in Seattle. Nathan Mirvold joins me now. It is so good to meet you. Likewise. You were the chief technology officer at Microsoft. I was. And, so, and then now you've kind of gone into the, the art and cuisine world. Where did that turn well, happen? <laughs> or was it simultaneous to your other interests? Well, since I was a little boy, I loved cooking. Uh, when I was nine, I decided I would cook Thanksgiving dinner all by myself. Oh my goodness. And did. Successfully. And of course, back when I was, <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> not so badly that it scarred me for life and I Excellent. stopped cooking. Um, and of course, when I was nine, being interested in computers was really a very different thing. <laughs> right, quite, quite a bit different. But these are such beautiful photographs. I want people to see a little bit of this, of, of your photography. Mm -hmm. You've come up with unique ways of photo. Oh, this is so beautiful. Do you meld your understanding of technology into the way you yes. approach this? Yes. So, um, uh, Look photography. at those blueberries. Look at this stuff. Um, photography is, of course, all about the science of optics and mm -hmm. about light. It's also about art, uh, but the two come together. And a lot of the photographs that we showed first in Modernist Cuisine and now that I take for the galleries uh, really try to show you a view of food you've not seen before. Uh, in the case of the blueberries, it's at a scale you've never seen before. And right. lots of people don't even recognize their blueberries. They say, well, what are those what enormous, <laughs> you know, blue-gray orbs? Um, or I, the splashes, things that happen in a thousandth of a second or less. Uh, or things that are very uh, microscopic, so our eyes can't normally see right. them. And so I try to use view. technology and uh, some sense of uh, artistic um, uh, composition uh, to make cool to food make photos. Go. Tell me about the lab. What happens at the lab? Well, I, our lab is... Do you need a taste tester? <laughs> I would like to come to the lab well, okay. and, and So our out. next big book is on pizza. So we're making a lot oh, of pizza yes. at the lab right yes. now. <laughs> yes, and we have, we have proof recently that pizza is healthier than boxed cereal for breakfast. So there you we, go. We have moved into a brand new world. But uh, now the downside is taste testing is often kind of messy. I'm like the world's worst bartender. When you make a shot, like, I <laughs> spill Every drink, every drink. <laughs> That's um, such a great photograph. So to get a picture like this. How'd you do it? We build a robot. So we what? have a, yeah, we, we built a robot that could uh, accelerate and decelerate a platform and that we could uh, program and control. Right. Uh, and then we have a, um, a, a high-speed computer system that controls high-speed flashes and uh, the camera so that we can take it when it's up in its, uh, its optimum. That's now, the, did he, you build the robot yourself? Uh, I and my people did, yeah. yes. <laughs> sure. Cool. That must be really cool to be able to do this. Look at um, the sugar cubes and the lemon and all of that. It's absolutely wonderful. Let's take a look at another photograph. Now, the, the trouble with these shots, another trouble is after you take them, you can't drive home, <laughs> or you, you have this problem because your clothes are soaked. And we use real liquor because really, it officer, looks different. it's just my clothes. It's just my clothes. <laughs> so there's another photograph called Midnight Rendezvous. Let's take a look at this one. We can see it right yeah. here. Yeah. So uh, this is in that's amazing. The, that looks a like vineyard, Van Gogh. The Figgins Vineyard, where the Leonetti wines, uh, the grapes for those yep. come from, and I wanted to to shoot the magic of the sky. Uh, and the wine, so we poured a glass of the Leonetti and set up for, uh, that's probably about four hours worth of exposure, done as a series wow. of different shots, and that's what gets the star trails. Now, that's amazing. One of the things for this, though, is you need to have a vineyard that has north-south painting uh, mm -hmm. things because that circle is around Polaris, the North Star, so, so you, you had to have yes. north-south rows, and you had to have a slight incline in the hill. So we spent a whole day looking around Walla Walla for vineyards. Just trying to find <laughs> the right one. Let's take a look at a picture called the All-American. Yeah. 
So yum, first of all. Yes. And then how in the okay, world so did you do this? I think food photos should make you hungry, right? And mission you, accomplished, but also Nathan. make you hungry. So when I was a kid, I also worked on cars, mm -hmm. and you'd get a repair manual, and would have what's called an exploded diagram. Yes, I love those. You have the thing and all of the parts and screws. So we started describing a hamburger in modernist cuisine. I thought, you know, let's have an exploded diagram. That's so brilliant. So uh, we set these shots up really carefully. It takes like a day to take one, uh, where everything has to be positioned just so. All of these uh, things are supported by something you can't see here in the picture, okay. because it's either like a spike or a sheet of plexiglass, mm -hmm. which is then has a, a flat black support that goes right back behind a so velvet curtain. So we can't see it, yes, yes. <laughs> and that lets you uh, uh, put them all together. How did you get, is it onions on top or is that a condiment? How did you get those oh, to? Well, we have uh, uh, mayo, uh, ketchup, uh, chopped lettuce, tomato, cheese, uh, and then of course the the burger and the bun. That is fantastic. So people really enjoy these galleries and they see something new and different. Um, it must be kind of special to open one in Seattle for you. Oh, it totally is. Um, it, the uh, you know the, Seattle uh, is where I was born. Mm -hmm. uh, I. Uh, my family moved when I was two. I had, I had no say in it, but sort of, <laughs> sort of like a salmon, I came back to the home stream to right, spawn. Right, exactly. <laughs> but, you, but you're not dying. That's just not going to happen. <laughs> I did not you're, spawn until I died, but <laughs> just spawn. You're going to survive it. <laughs> so uh, it was just great to open it here in Seattle. That's so uh, cool. You know, it took a little while before we found uh, uh, the right location. Which is? Uh, which is uh, 1403 First, uh, corner of First and Union, basically. Yeah. What a perfect place. Well, it, it's, it's a part of town where you get both people that are visiting and, of and course, all of us who live here. People who live here. So if you could give us just a couple tips for our own food photography, what would it be? Because I probably can't well, build a robot. Let me just... <laughs> Tell you right now. Okay, so the first thing is that light matters. Okay? okay, photography is about capturing light, and a lot of times when you have a problem uh, taking pictures in a restaurant, it's because you're not sitting in a good spot for that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, usually, if you're having dinner with friends and there's several places, look up front to see which one has the best light. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, the other is don't be afraid to move the little candle or other light that's on the um, uh, that's on the table, right. and, and turn the flash off. You know, the, the flash, on, not only is it annoying to other diners, but it, it, that isn't the, the real problem. The real yeah. problem is it makes a very harsh photo. It's like there's a, a spotlight yes. on it, and it just doesn't look great. Can you shine maybe some light through your napkin or something? Do you ever use um, other, I other have, tools I have at done, the table? Oh, I've done all of that. <laughs> I just want to watch it all happen. Nathan, thank you very much for visiting with us about this. Modernist Cuisine Seattle Gallery opens to the public tomorrow. It is next to Pike Place Market and across from the Seattle Art Museum. We've posted links on New Day's homepage about the gallery and the Modernist Cuisine books. I so want a burger at this point. Up next, we're going to preview this weekend's Home Team Harvest with the story of a sponsor who has a very personal reason for getting involved in fighting hunger in our state. That's next.